When driving down King Street, there's a good chance you've noticed the brightly colored toy store with the carousel and big stuffed animals in the window. That shop is now closing its doors, like many other stores on King. News 2's Sophia Arizoza tells us why owners say it's their only option. A place for smiles, business, and plenty of toys. A place plain summer created. A experience for the kids. Along with his wife Nancy. People that have been coming year after year. Magnifilis Toy Emporium. We came here for charm and energy. A reflection of Charleston. I think Charleston's great appeal was the fact that we weren't a cookie cutter city. A feel that has kept people coming back. One little girl comes here first and then goes immediately back to the hotel room and plays with her toys. That first stop, now some people's last. The operational costs far exceed what you normally can have for a small business. The King Street toy store forced to close. It's always sad when a local business closes. After five years of business. Especially one that has something so cool like this. Rent on King Street. There really just isn't an affordable option. Too competitive. Everything has just gone up. For mom and pop. And we've seen rates go from, let's say, maybe $30 on Upper King Street to asking up to $60 a square foot. And they're one of many. All we see is closed, going out of business, store closing, shuttered windows. Just take a look at their neighbors. Which is just part of the, the success of Charleston. They've become more successful. Investors move in. But a lot of mom and pops move out. Melody Shimtov stopped for one final walkthrough. The more people that come, the higher the prices become, so the harder it is to keep the charm. So we're just at a crossroads right now. What once defined Charleston. Charleston is losing their charm. Now arguably under threat. The owners tell me they have always had competitive sales, but the profit just isn't enough to pay their increasing rent fees. They also said, like most stores, they felt the pressure of online shopping, but they're happy to report that a local business is planned to use that space. Reporting in studio tonight, Sophia Arzoza, News 2.